Hi dears, this is TJ from Rice. I'm back with important questions on the chapter trigonometry. So these particular questions are very important. That means these questions has been asked multiple times in previous year board exams, and also it has high chance to ask in the upcoming maths board examination. So let's go with the question. Your first question is also very very popular question, famous question because in this question many of the students get stuck. Okay, but we are going to solve this particular question within four or five steps. Okay. For this, we have to break this question into several parts. But don't ever touch the denominator. Don't ever touch the denominator. The question, let's read the question once. 1 plus 6 theta minus 3 theta divided by 1 plus 6 theta plus 3 theta equal to 1 minus 3 theta by cos theta. A similar question is also in your NCRT examples. Please check that question as, as well because that's also very important. So here, let's write the numerator. I'm going to just rewrite this numerator. I'm going to just rearrange the terms in the numerator. Let me write this as, I'm, I'm taking LHS now. I'm going to write this as, sec theta minus tan theta plus 1 divided by 1 plus sec theta plus tan theta. Okay. I'm not going to touch the denominator. Okay. Fine. Now, we know what 1 here is. We can actually write this 1 in terms of sec and tan. In terms of sec and tan, we can write 1. What it is? We can write 1 as 6 square theta minus tan square theta. It is an identity of trigonometry. So let's write that here. Yes, 6 square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. It's a very important identity that is we are going to use in this problem. So let's rewrite this as sec theta minus tan theta plus again 6 square theta minus tan square theta divided by what? The denominator. Okay, fine. Now, here 6 square theta minus tan square theta is in the form of a square minus b square. It's another identity. So let's expand that. That is a plus b into a minus b. Let's expand that. So we'll, we'll be getting sec theta minus tan theta plus sec theta plus tan theta into sec theta minus tan theta. I hope there is no confusion. Right? I hope there is no confusion. The denominator is again the same. Okay? Now, as you can see here, sec theta minus tan theta is common in the numerator. Okay, both the terms have sec theta minus tan theta. So let's actually take it common outside. So while taking common outside, we have sec theta minus tan theta. And inside the box, we are having just uh, what we are having? 1 plus sec theta plus tan theta. And also in the denominator, what we were having in the denominator? Do you guys remember? Yes, in the denominator also, we were having 1 plus sec theta plus tan theta. So what we can do here is, we are going to cancel this 1 plus sec theta plus tan theta and 1 plus sec theta plus tan theta in the denominator and numerator. So the remaining part is just sec theta minus tan theta. And that's our answer, but that is that is not the exact RHS. Here, look at your RHS. RHS in the, is in the form of sine and cos. So what we can do here is, let's convert this sec in terms of cos. That is 1 by cos theta. Minus tan theta is nothing but sin theta by cos theta. Okay, here we have the equal denominator. So, we can directly uh, subtract the numerator, correct? So, we can write this as 1 minus sin theta by cos theta, which is nothing but RHS. Hence, proved. That's it. Very easy. Okay, moving to the next question without wasting any time. Okay, it's a very important question. It's also, it was also asked in, asked in previous year questions. Okay, previous year board exams. Here, it's very easy, right? With just one look, it's very easy. We can just cancel out the squares and the root. Correct? So, the remaining is sec theta plus cosec theta. And that's not the arches. Okay? Please don't do such mistakes. We cannot actually cancel the squares and root over here. Because the squares has been divided into two terms. If the squares is in this form, like this. I'll show you. If it is in this form, sec theta plus cosec theta and it is commonly squared, we can actually cancel this square and root, okay? But we cannot actually cancel here. Okay, let's write the LHS. LHS and rewrite 6 square theta in terms of tan theta. Again, the same identity, 6 square theta minus tan square theta equal to 1. So from that, we will be getting 6 square theta as 1 plus tan square theta. And cos 6 square theta in terms of cot square theta, how it is? 1 plus cot square theta. Okay, let's add both 1. So we will we'll be getting root of tan square theta plus cot square theta plus 2 and it is a very important part of this particular question it's a very important step that is next step here we i'm going to actually convert this particular expression into an algebraic identity okay expansion of algebraic identity that is if i have 
tan theta and cot theta over here, I can actually write this in the form of a plus b whole square, correct? So we all know tan theta into cot theta is 1. So I can just multiply that particular ta value tan theta into cot theta with 2. No issues because any number multiplied by 1 is the same number. So what we can do here is root of tan square theta plus cot square theta. It's very important step. Most of the students take over here plus 2 tan theta cot theta. Now we can actually write this in the form of algebraic identity that is a plus b whole square that is nothing but tan theta plus cot theta the whole square so we can cancel the square and root now okay the remaining part is just tan theta plus cot theta which is nothing but our rhs happily proved clear okay moving to the next question very very important question here this type of questions is frequently asked in board exams but what our students will do means they will skip the question. Otherwise, they will actually get stuck in between and they, they will just leave the question. So, if you ever get stuck in a trigonometric problem, what you have to do is think of algebra. Convert that particular trigonometry into algebra. Okay, here as you can see, sin theta plus cos theta divided by sin theta minus cos theta directly it is taken reciprocal and written as the second term. As you can see, so if such reciprocals are, has been taken, Think of algebra okay so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to write sine a s x and cos a s cos a s y so we have x plus y in the numerator and x minus y in the denominator similarly x minus y and x plus y in the next term okay so in the lhs what i have here is x plus y divided by x minus y plus x minus y divided by x plus y i'm talking about lhs okay now let's cross multiply what we are going to get x plus y the whole square plus x minus y the whole square divided by x minus y into x plus y correct i hope there is no doubts yes this is an algebraic identity again x minus y whole square is also, also an algebraic identity while expanding this x plus y whole square we will be getting x square plus y square plus 2xy correct plus 2xy while expanding this we will be getting x square plus y square minus 2xy so while adding both this both will be cancelled what will be the remaining part x square plus y square again x, x square plus y square so we'll be getting 2x square plus 2y square in the numerator and in denominator we have again x plus y into x minus y okay now we can take the two outside common so we have 2 into x square plus y square in the numerator and x plus y into x minus y in the denominator now the algebra part is over now let's substitute the value of x and y in the algebra in the expression over here so we are having x s cos a sin a and y s cos a so we are having 2 into x square means sin square a plus cos square a divided by x plus y into x minus y. What we are having here, that is identity a square minus b square. So I'm going to write as sin square a minus cos square a. Okay, I'll actually write over here as well. I'll actually change it because I don't want any confusion. So this can be written as x square minus y square because a plus b into a minus b is nothing but a square minus b square. Correct? Now, we know sin square a plus cos square is 1. So we have 2 in the numerator and in the denominator we are having sin square a minus cos square a actually we have to actually convert that because in the rhs we have 2 divided by 2 sin square a minus 1 because we got different value over here so we are going to actually change it okay it's very easy we can actually write this cos square a in terms of sin square a so that's also very easy i'm going to write it as 2 divided by sin square a minus what is cos square a that is 1 minus sin square a so we are having it as 2 divided by 2 sin square a now we got 2 sin square a minus 1 that is our rhs this is as easy as this my students as easy as this i hope it is very clear so these kind of questions may come so please think about algebra without just leaving the question it is very easy easy to skip a question but please try doing it okay so that's it my students if you find these questions helpful and if you find these questions was really important to upcoming board examination please like and comment and also share to your friends okay and please don't forget to subscribe to raise class 10 cbc so we'll see in the next video until then bye Bye-bye. Take care.